last month I sat down here with Lockie Wharton, our marketing guy, and we decided to run through some of the free stuff that people send us out of the blue. We called it Cool for Comment. Uh, it seems that a lot of people liked it, and, uh, and it prompted a lot more free stuff being sent our way. So, of course, we're continuing it. We're continuing Absolutely. this segment. We love free stuff. <laughs> we love free stuff. We thought we might rename it the market, the monthly swag. The monthly swag. Yeah, or swag of the month. I don't know. We're getting there yet. Let's see what. Let's see what we got. I got given this from RSM Bird Camera. Now this is a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine is nothing new. However, I did kind of dig the logo on the box because that's what qualifies swag. Free stuff with a logo on it. Yeah. Absolutely. And if you get us drunk, we will likely to speak favourably. More likely to say nice things. But the funny thing is, over time, it's probably these little cheap-ass pieces of rubbish. That are going to be thrown throughout the office for years to come. Yes. Months. And that's probably uh, a memorable item of swag. Absolutely. Yeah. We have three rules. What are they? They're, they're uniqueness, uh, m remarkability, remarkableness, and stickiness. That's right. Is that what we did last time? Yes. All right. Well, that's not unique. It's probably not remarkable. It's probably not sticky. But the footballs are. But the footballs are. Imagine that. $100 bottle of wine or a 30, 30 cent football. What else we got here? We've got uh, something from Enviro Week. Enviro Week, yep. They have sent us a very interesting take on uh, something, we, something you tend to get sent all the time is uh, ye old USB mm -hmm. stick. Uh, filled up with all sorts of materials. This one is, like the shoes last month, a little bit different. It's uh, it's a sustainable USB drive. And it looks like it's made out of wood. It is. That's, that's, that's it is made out of wood. I say it's sustainable. It's Ooh. got a, a wooden case. With, a, with little magnets in it. Magnets. How about that? So that there, what's it with the people? So it's Enviro Week. It's the organisers of EnviroWeek.org. That's right. Uh, uh, change your habits and rally our mates for Enviro Week. Alright, EnviroWeek.org. And that there you'd probably say is unique. It's, it's uh, coolaustralia.org if cool you want to go check them out. Yeah. Um, but that's, uh, that's remarkable. It is. We're I remarking really, about it I now. I like it. Uh, as, as was brought up last month, I'm kind of the greenie in the office. So if you send me something <coughs> like sustainable shoes or a sustainable USB drive, then I'm probably going to talk about it. Books. Lots of books. books. Always a good sense books. Uh, the Toilet Paper Entrepreneur. Now I think we talked about this with someone on a blog and they've sent us to, them to us to give away to our readers. The Toilet Paper Entrepreneur, the tell it like it is guide to cleaning up in business even if you're at the end of your role. <laughs> ha ha ha. What do Toilet Paper and Madonna both have in common? They get into the groove. There we go. So we've got that book. Spiritual Business. I don't know what that is but it's got a fun cover. Right. Spiritual books like spiritual business or the uh, Karma Sutra of business or anything <laughs> like that always kind of get us a little bit, a little bit nervous. But you can't judge a book by its cover. So in the high tech world of the millennium, it's hard to imagine how spending time on a computer could dramatically improve the spiritual bottom line of your business. All right, we might have a look at that online. The Great Planet in the Universe, a business novel. I, I'm actually already not interested because the cover doesn't inspire me. What about you? Yeah, it just means nothing. It means nothing. At least there is a media release in this one which tells me something about it. Sometimes it goes to show it's all about design. It's the way that information is presented. Speaking of design, this is a very simple DM pack that we got sent to the office. It is a business card with compliment slip and a letter. And I've pulled this out, not that it's necessarily swag, but it's done a very, very neat, nice job of introducing me to the concept that uh, Mr. Peter J. Carhill would like us to uh, obviously promote. And it's got a poster at the back. Oh, two posters at the back. The Entrepreneur's Creed. Being an entrepreneur is about a burning desire, thinking and creativity, knowing intuitively, leadership and drive. And his initiative is called EliminateSmallBusiness.com. Are you by growing? That's really good. That's really good. That there is, a, is not a particularly expensive, highly memorable, probably unique and remarkable pack. We get so many emails. Angela's probably responsible for a lot of the emails you already get. Mm -hmm. And here we are, we have a business card with compliments slip. 
a letter and a one-page overview, done very elegantly, done very, very nicely as a swag. What I like about this is that um, what he's talking about here really resonates with his audience. So this guy obviously knows who he's communicating to. He knows what sort of things they like to keep reminding themselves on because working as an entrepreneur or in a small business is hard and there are times when you run out of motivation or mm. the fire dies down a bit. This is the sort of thing you point, you stick up on your wall to remind yourself why you do what you do. And um, yeah, for that reason, eliminate smallbusiness.com and uh, Peter J. Cahill will probably stick these up on our walls and we'll be constantly reminded. Talk about impact. I mean, to cost, cost for impact. Speaking of cost for impact, here was a quite an interesting one that I got with this card. It says thank you. And I, I can't say I'm that impressed by the card, although they did make a little <laughs> bit of an effort here to uh, put in their logo and some other stuff. But what came with it was a double CD set from JB Hi-Fi, price still on it, I think. No, they've scribbled it out, which is the Beatles collection. It's a bloody two, two DVD Beatles collection. And it says, thank you for joining the revolution in the data center, courtesy of Blade Network Technologies, the upstart provider of high-speed Ethernet switches. Now, I don't have a freaking clue what that means, However, however, I can say, and sometimes you'll get information and you'll get a gift and you go, what's all this about? I don't know, I don't really care. And that's a little bit annoying sometimes, particularly if they've spent 30 bucks or whatever it is in sending us a, a, a brand spanking new DVD well, still in plastic. it's about a revolution and, and know, that's there's the a famous few, few Beatles, Beatles songs about, songs about revolution. revolution and all that jazz. So yeah. I guess there's a, there's a connection there which is, taken us a few moments to piece together, but it's a nice bit of thinking. It's always good if, if you can connect, if you're going to send someone a bit of swag, uh, if you can connect it to what you're talking about or your business and form that mental association, that really helps. And yeah, we'll be, we'll be rocking that at the office after the beer o'clock email goes out today. So. But I also think that I will probably check out their website because it is such a generous gift and it was a little bit vague, which means that if that was more descriptive, I may have not actually gone to their website and checked them out, so maybe it was a, an accidental win. Or maybe it was on purpose. Or maybe it was on purpose. So in summary, what have we got? We've got a bottle of wine, which is always good. And some footballs. Footballs. Mini footies. Value for money. It seems like the footballs are the winners. <laughs> hey! Uh, we've got a bunch of books. Uh, the most interesting one was The Toilet Paper Entrepreneur. I think we're going to give that away to some of our readers. We've well, got like three or four copies there. Got four so, copies. Okay, I'm going to make a decision now. The 400th person to join our Facebook group or the 700th person to join our LinkedIn group will get a copy because we're at about 650 on LinkedIn and about 350 on Facebook. So look up Ant Hill Magazine or you can just go to www.facebook.com forward slash <laughs> Ant Hill Magazine for our Facebook group. Yeah, or just go to our homepage and find one of the links and go through from there. So there we go. So we've got some books to give away. What did we also look at? We also looked at a uh, wooden USB drive. Wooden USB drive. Sustainable. Made Sustainable. from recyclable materials. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, and last but uh, definitely not least, a, uh, a DVD from... Um, That's not last. That's not last. Okay, we had The Entrepreneur's Creed. Sorry, I forgot about that. Entrepreneur's Creed. EliminateSmallBusiness.com. What a catchy, catchy sentiment. Love it. Uh, and uh, from Blade, um, Revolution in the Data Center. That's their website. Uh, bladenetwork.net forward slash Australia. Bladenetwork.net forward slash Australia. Which, of course, we got the, we got the DVDs. That's all. That's our monthly swag. What's swag of the month? What's swag of the month? Swag of the month. Can I say this? The footies. All right. I reckon that is the James swag likes of the, the footballs. Month. That's my favorite. I'm torn between the Beatles CD and the Entrepreneur's Creed, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm impressed with this very simple, very neat DM pack. That's it. We've talked for about 10 minutes. See you next month. See you next month.